Hi, I'm Anton Carpridge, and I'm from something uh, junior high school in Illinois. I'd like to tell you about some things. You know, if you were to travel to Palatine, really it's just American suburbia. Not much to do, but there is a park, aquatic center, and all, all these sorts of things. Real action in Chicago. They have several excellent quality museums, and like the Field Museum and the Lake Shores, and also historic areas like an Oak Park nearby. Green Green actually means to be environmentally responsible. Make sure you use your planet's resources in accordance with future generations to me. You know, it really results in those simple things like maybe living in a shack or something like that. Or maybe just a, in a smaller house rather than those big McMansions that people build nowadays. Maybe just using and conserving energy. And, but sometimes, you know, these results result in extravagant American lifestyle and healthcare and all things that we prize and love. If I could trade place with any famous explorer or world leader, probably be Kangas Khan. I mean, he just tried to superior uh, intelligence and numbers and uh, abilities with hit and run tactics, and he made managed to conquer all of Asia and Europe before having to turn back and die. You know, what if he conquered Europe? I don't know. Don't give me a free ticket to travel anywhere on this world. What do you mean on this world? Can I go off it? You know, I'd like to explore some of the bodies in the outer solar system. Maybe the Titan, or maybe Pluto. Or maybe the icy Kuiper Belt, or they're called Sedna, which is a mysterious, very edgy to solar system and goes off. Probably just do some exploration like any good geologist, or exploring, learning more about the world, and it's just really interesting in this redness. You know, I don't really know how I smush this stuff into my brain. It's just so. Interesting. Maybe all the stuff that isn't there about 70s movies or fo football players, or maybe just social interaction is probably used for devotion to the art and study of geography. If you put me in charge of the Earth the entire day, first two issues I would tackle is one, one, space exploration, and two, global warming. Space exploration is really an important part of our daily exist our continued existence as life forms. You know, as, if we want to stay here and be alive, we better get off this planet. I mean, if we ruined it by global warming, or maybe just an ast errant asteroid slams into us, we'll be toast. You know, we can't really stay in the cradle forever, as Tsiolkovsky put it. We really need to go out and explore other solar systems and other uh, parts of our solar system and just make sure we have a continued existence over parallelism. And global warming, really, the first problem is people really denying it. I'm not saying that I can't say it, but I'm just saying they're flawed to the scientific evidence and we're rather mistaken. Two, we know that global warming is a real problem, I hope you know that. And of course, we need to be greed, as stated before, and reduce our environmental footprint and make sure we have resources to stay on Earth and, it, and maybe, uh, maybe a safety blanket to go out on other planets. So it's really important that we you know, take care of our Earth and not just waste it to ruins. Like, and just expire after a hundred years like some other civilizations, probably. You know, if I, if I know, well, the St. Paul River is, it starts in, uh, his source is in Guinea, and it, hold on, well, the St. Paul River, and water, water everywhere, of course, would be category, it, start, it starts in Guinea, and it marks the Guinea-Liberia border for about several hundred kilometers until it empties in, in the Gulf of Guinea. It was named because of the fact that the Portuguese explorers who first saw it named it, saw it on St. Paul's Day. That's why I named it after the St. Paul. Whatever. Thank you and farewell.